Wildlife activists in Pinellas County claim dozens of birds are turning up dead after feasting on partially untreated sewage water. A number of the birds have been found on St. Pete Beach. News Channel 8's Jamel Lene takes a closer look at the sewer problem in Pinellas County. Dead birds have been turning up on St. Pete Beach. I have actually found the first dead. It was a chick. It actually wasn't a fledge on August 12th. And then since then, they've been drip, 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 dying, sometimes two a day, one a day. It's just been ongoing. Dying off since partially untreated sewage water was dumped in Boca Ciega Bay. Lorraine Margison says it all started after Tropical Storm Colin, and it's only gotten worse after her mean. And all of a sudden, stuff starts dying. And then you combine that with all the added, you know, from everybody after her mean, it certainly hasn't helped the situation repair itself, right? So far, 47 birds, mainly skimmers, found dead along the shores. She says eventually the county's sewer issues will only have a bigger impact on the wildlife. Somebody just posted a picture today of a dead brown pelican at John's Pass. You know, we need to like watch out and see what's going to happen here. Uh, when are the fish going to start, you know, rolling up? When are we going to start finding some dead dolphins or whatever else? County leaders know a solution is desperately needed. Today, commissioners discuss creating a task force to address overwhelmed pipelines. We basically had all our systems exposed during the storms. And so I thought an opportunity for us to come together, see where our weaknesses are, see where our strengths are. How can we work better in the future to make sure that uh, the impacts are lessened? That was Jamel Lene reporting. Commissioner Justice tells News Channel 8 this task force will consist of utility personnel, personnel from different municipalities. They will meet and try to come up with solutions.